previous video, this is, well, sorry, this is lesson two, sorry, this is lesson three in module two, and it's the second video, okay? So in our previous lesson, <clears throat> we talked about advanced strategies for factoring quadratic expressions. Notice that GCF is still a big strategy we want to use. But we also saw that that um, product sum method that we used earlier when we had the lead coefficients of one um, doesn't always work when we have a different lead coefficient like six, okay? Um, and we have this new strategy here where we split the middle term um, and, and go from there. So when we went through that, we'll do some more examples here too. So again, at any point, please make sure you pause the video, try some of the stuff on your own um, to see, you know, if you can figure it out yet. We'll do like, I would say, you know, at least trying at least, you know, watch number one, number two here, and then we try three and four on your own or, or, or whatever kind of thing. So here we go. So again, looking at this, we're asked to factor, right? Factor the following expressions using your method of choice. Um, and then it says to check your answers using the distributed property. That means multiply it back together. Um, so remember to look for a GCF, right? So looking at this, do we have a GCF? Is there anything that divides all three? And the answer is no. So no GCF here, we have to proceed as normal. Okay, we cannot just look for two numbers that multiply to make negative 10 and add to make a negative one here because again, we have a lead coefficient of two. So it's not gonna work for us. <clears throat> so instead we'll do that A, C, and B here. I identify those, we'll multiply A times C. So that's gonna give us a negative 20. Actually, I'll write it all the way over here. And we need two numbers that multiply to negative 20. and um, add to the middle term there of negative one. So let's think of numbers that multiply make negative 20. Let's see here, negative 20 and positive one. Nope. Um, negative 10 and positive two. Nope. Um, negative five and positive four. Ah, that one works, right? They add to make negative one. So what we'll do here is we'll take that middle term of negative one and we're gonna rewrite it. So we'll still have the two x squared. We're gonna break this negative one up into minus four x and plus four x. So minus 4x, oh, minus 4x, sorry, minus 5x, and plus 4x there, because that's where those numbers came from right there. Okay, right? And this is not magic here. Like, if you combine these back together, you'll get a negative 1. So I haven't changed this. I just rewrote it. It looks different. That's all. Um, and then we still have the minus 10. Don't forget that. Now, why do we do this? Because now we can group the first two and group the second two. And from that first group, now we do have a GCF of what? of x, and so we have 2x minus 5 left over. And what can I factor out from this group? They both divis they are divisible by 2, so I take out 2 out, and guess what? 2x minus 5, I have the same leftovers. That shows we're on the right track here. And we'll factor out the 2x minus 5 from both of these, and that'll leave behind an x and a plus 2. So we have x plus 2 right there. And voila, there is our factored polynomial, or factored quadratic, I should say. Okay, number two. Again, no GCF here. So we'll um, do the A times C method. A and C is six to negative 20. So um, it's gonna be negative um, 120. You can see here that this method is kind of a pain because you can get some pretty big numbers sometimes, which is unfortunate, but anyway. So we wanna to multiply to negative 120. We want to add to positive seven. So again, we could do negative 120 and positive one. Uh, let's see here, like negative 12 and positive 10. And that's not gonna be helpful. Um, let's see here, we could do like um, 24 and negative five. That's not super helpful either. Uh, let's see here, what else could we do? We could do, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, Goodness gracious, 20 and five, that's not gonna help either. Um, use my, there we go, 15 and eight. And negative eight, we'll say, that's what's gonna work here. Okay, so I had to use my graphing calculator there to kind of just like figure out some numbers, just play around with it here. These multiply the negative 120 though, and they add to make that seven. And so again, we're gonna use these two numbers to split up this middle term here. Group the first two, group the second two. 
from that first group, what's the GCF we can factor out? We can factor out a 3 and an x. And from the second group, what can we factor out? We can factor out a negative 4. And we're left with a 2x plus 5 again. And again, we can see we're on the right track here. Okay, um, you when you do this on your own, you may not um, like factor out the GCF at first. Like maybe you looked at this, and you're like, oh, I can divide both of those by two or by you know um, a negative one or something like that. So make sure you get all the GCF out. You really want to make sure these things match up. What's left over matches up because then we can factor that out, and I'll leave behind the three x and the minus four, and that is our factored quadratic there. Okay, so I'll pause there and I'll record uh, one more video to catch um, numbers three and numbers four. All right, thanks guys. We'll catch you next video.